Hey guys, my name is Kevin Carden. I am a photographer and digital artist and welcome to a brand new Photoshop tutorial. And uh, we're doing one of these every single day in the month of June. I hope that you have enjoyed them so far and uh, you are learning a lot of stuff. What we're gonna be doing today is we're going to be taking a sunset, a sunset over the, the uh, ocean here. And uh, we're gonna change the shape of that sun. So it's kind of a, it's not gonna be a, a sphere like the sun or any type of shape like that. It's gonna be a specific shape uh, that reflects over the ocean. So the first thing we want to do is, uh, I just wanna go ahead and change the sky. Uh, because right now, I really like the, uh, the background. I like the, the ocean. I like all of these nice little um, highlights on the, the ocean water right here. That's gonna be very helpful. Uh, but the sun in this case is not really a sphere. It's more like a just a, a very big blur of light here. So I've got another picture of the sun that I took from a separate location. This was actually in the mountains. Uh, but this one, you can see the sphere very clear, and uh, I just put it right over the ocean. And so what this does is it makes it look like that the sun is right here, and then you have all of these nice little reflections in the ocean, and it looks like a believable composite. Once we have this, it's going to be a little bit easier. Now, this is going to be a really simple tip, and uh, it's not going to take very long to do. If you're looking for more in-depth tutorials, I do have a Gumroad account, and uh, I'll include a link in the description below. And there are many, many uh, Photoshop tutorials on my Gumroad account that you can check out. And uh, I go in depth more and they're more, um, they're, they're longer videos, they're hours and hours long. And the PSD files are included, the stock images are included, and I hope that you'll find uh, some benefit to those. But today is going to be a pretty short tutorial and I'm going to show you how to change the shape of this sun. So you could really do this with any shape. So you could go over to your custom shape tool over here and uh, you could choose, for example, example, a heart. Uh, that would be one option that you could do. Uh, and that would be very simple to do. But I want to do a little bit more complex one, and then you will be able to do the simple ones as well. So I'm going to go and grab a Instagram logo. So here is the Instagram logo, a very simple version of it. And what I want to do is I want to make the sun look like this Instagram logo. So I'm just going to invert that. And uh, I'm going to put this... Um, this uh, logo right where the sun is at. But actually, before I need to do that, I need to go ahead and cut out the uh, the white part here. So I'm just going to go ahead and grab this and this and this using a magic wand tool, copy and paste it. And now we have this on its own layer. And then I'm going to go up to layer matting and defringe. And that just gets rid of those rough black edges. Okay, so now we have this right here, and uh, this is going to be our sun, and uh, we need to figure out how big it needs to be. So I'm thinking uh, something about like right here. So I'm going to put the sun right in that little circle there, and uh, I think that'll be fine. So let's put it right there. Okay, so the first thing I need to do is it's not quite as big as that sun. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to draw directly on this layer. I'm just going to draw some white right there, just so it fills that circle up. Okay, so now this is what we've got so far. Now, if we examine the sun in this uh, original picture, you can see that it's bright white uh, right in the center. And then as it starts to glow and radiate out, it's this nice bright yellow. And so that's this Instagram logo doesn't do that. It doesn't, uh, it doesn't have yellow coming off of the edges. So we're just gonna do an outer glow here. So go to your FX, do outer glow. And then what you want to do is you just wanna, you wanna choose uh, one of these colors in the scene. So I'm just gonna choose like this nice little orange color change it to screen and then do overlay um, opacity at 100 and then you can change the size uh, to whatever it needs to be. If you max it out at 100, um, it's it's going to be very um, feathered as it goes out. If you do a small one, it's going to be very um, uh, a very localized glow. And so you need to figure out where exactly you want it to go, but I think something about like that would be good, 150 to 160. Now we've got a bright glowing Instagram uh, logo right in the sky. I don't know what that would mean. I don't really understand what the purpose behind this would mean, but this is how you would do it. Now, the next thing you'd want to do is duplicate this layer. So we have two of these. So we have two of these going on now, but put it in a group, put this one in a group, change that group to blend, uh, the blend mode to color dodge. And then what you want to do is flip it and put it right here in the ocean. This is gonna be where the, uh, the reflection is, the bright reflection. And uh, we'll just, eh, we'll make it kind of tall, just like that. 
Uh, and then what you want to do is go inside that uh, layer, do a, uh, a layer mask here, and then just get a brush. And then what you want to do is invert it first. So now it's black. And then just get a brush and just paint white uh, very lightly. We don't want to do too much of it. Very lightly, like right here where the, the closest uh, spot is uh, to it touching. And that's probably still too much, even like that. So I'm going to tone that down just a little bit like that. And I think that'll look fine. You could also, you know, rasterize this layer and then you could use the, um, you could use the smudge tool and kind of like smudge these glows. Uh, but I like the color dodge. I think that looks pretty good when you do it like that. Okay. So we zoom out. This is how it looks. Now that's just how you do a, a, uh, Instagram logo. So that, that was, you know, a fairly complex, uh, shape, but if you wanted to do the heart, it's pretty much the same thing. You just want to go ahead and grab the heart shape and put it pretty much right there and then go down to this uh, glowing uh, layer that we had and just right click that copy layer style go back up to your heart paste layer style now we have that nice yellow glowing around it uh, but then what you want to do is you want to duplicate it so we have two of them got it and then just flip it upside down and put it inside of that color dodge group that we did earlier and then do a layer mask make it invisible, and then just paint back a little bit right here at the edge. That's pretty much all you got to do, guys. And uh, it's really fun to change uh, the shapes of the uh, the sun and just make a nice little surreal type picture. And uh, I hope that you enjoy this little tip and technique and uh, that you can take this and, and use it in your own projects and, and have fun with that. But guys, that's all I've got for today's tutorial. Hope that you enjoyed it. And uh, we'll see you again tomorrow morning for a brand new Photoshop tutorial. Thanks, guys.